Hello everybody! It is June 1st. Happy Pride Month! Uh, I am so excited because just in time for Pride Month, merch is now available on my website, in my shop. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm so so psyched. Um, so I wanted to do a quick live today just to celebrate uh, that the merch is available and show you the stuff that I have uh, and just show you kind of some of the samples that I've ordered so you can see what some of the stuff looks like um, and also just to say happy Pride Month but yes I'm so excited um, so first of all I don't know you can probably see this glorious t-shirt that I am wearing I'm not gay as in happy I'm queer as in fuck you uh, with a beautiful rainbow ombre uh, this just came today and I'm so psyched that it came in time for the launch of the shop um, but this is one of the many t-shirts that are available now. Uh, you can get this phrase on a whole variety of different things from stickers and magnets and pins to shirts, hoodies, bags, all kinds of stuff. So there's a lot of variety in terms of items that you can order as well as different sayings, phrases, pronouns that you can get in different configurations. So speaking of pronouns, this is one of the holograph, uh, holographic they them stickers. It is so pretty. It is so, so pretty. I'm gonna be, I, I have not yet put it on my fancy N95 respirator faceplate yet because I've been saving it to show for this last Instagram Live. And then after this is done, I'm immediately putting it on my mask so that everywhere I go with my N95 respirator, my pronouns will be right in the middle of my face. So hopefully that will help cut down on some misgendering. Um, other stickers, we've got Solo Polyam. And like any of the things you see that I'm holding up that are these little phrases, you can get on mugs, tumblers, uh, bags, shirts, all kinds of things. We have this sticker that says slut. Slut you can get on lots of things, including this adorable wine tumbler. Like look at that, look at that, so fucking cute. Um, more stickers, we've got this is one of the sticker sheets. So there are a few different sticker sheet options. Each of them has four different stickers and you can get them in different sizes. This is the larger size. You can also get a smaller size. Uh, I also got a couple pins. Uh, I always get my pronoun pins very large so that people cannot ignore them. Uh, I want them to be as in your face as possible. I also, because it's me, got a little cute little slut pin. Uh, and my plan is to put it on my lanyards at conferences in the future so that everyone knows I'm a slut. Not that anybody in the world doesn't know that already. I mean, I feel like it's pretty well known at this point. Uh, also, I got myself this really stinking cute tote bag that, that lets everybody know I'm a megasexual. Like, how cute is that? Um, I love this tote. I love the color of it. And it's actually, like, really nice. I'm excited to use it to carry my shit around. Uh, and then I also got this really lovely Sherpa blanket with a cute little like icon on it for polyamory. Um, and it is super soft, like it feels really nice. I'm very excited with the quality of this. Um, all the stuff that I've gotten for my samples that I've ordered have been super high quality. I've been really, really happy with them. Uh, to give you kind of a like what I'm doing and how this is working, uh, for the merch that is available now on my site, I am using Printify, which is basically a service that allows merchants who do print-on-demand items to uh, use designs that you upload and then they directly ship them to consumers. So my amazing designer, Tracy Lay, she put together all of these fabulous designs and created all of the different products that you can get on the shop. And when you order them, they are printed on demand and then shipped directly to you. Um, our goal when we started this project was to have some designs done first, particularly ones around pronouns, gender identifiers, that kind of thing for Pride Month. Um, and we also prioritize things like pins, stickers, shirts, because that's the stuff people are most likely to want to have available to wear for Pride Month. Um, if there are other uh, items that you would love for us to have available, let me know. We can totally add more things. Uh, we can add more items in the future, especially now that all the designs are basically done. It's just about like putting them on the item, making sure that they're sized and placed appropriately. Um, so if there's stuff that you want, cute little sayings or pronouns or something on, let me know. We can work on it. Um, in addition, for anything that's apparel, we tried to have as wide of a size range available as possible. So 
Uh, when you work with a service like Printify, you are to some extent limited by the uh, actual like printers and the printing companies that you're working with through that site. Uh, whenever possible, we tried to make things available up through 5XL. Um, some items are only available up through 2XL. I'm sorry, I'm going to keep contacting these print providers to see about expanding out the size range and see what we can do to get things available in larger sizes. Um, and because I'm not like running a clothing line or getting a whole bunch of stock that we then individually ship, there are just some limitations in terms of what I can make happen and what is available. Um, the other thing about having like this wide range of sizes is that we have adjusted the pricing so that no matter what size you're ordering, you pay the same price. Um, for some of the items, especially like the hooded sweatshirts, the printers a lot of times want to charge almost twice as much for like a 5XL as they would for an extra small through extra large, and that's bullshit. So the price is the same no matter what size you're ordering. Um, it does mean that like on the like 5XL sweatshirts, I think I'm making a dollar per, per purchase, but I wanted to make sure it's available for folks so that everybody can get it in a size that fits them at least as much as we can. Um, because everything is print on demand, it can take some time to arrive. So the stickers in my experience have usually been the fastest to arrive. They came in like a few days. It was very, very quick. Um, the tote bag and the blanket were the ones that came next. They also arrived fairly quickly. This t-shirt took a little bit of extra time. Um, and then the there are some like stonewashed tank tops that are on the website. Those ship from Australia. So <clears throat> it can take a while. I would budget like three weeks for those to arrive because it takes uh, with Australia Post right now there's a whole lot of delays getting flights out so it takes some time. Um, there's also some items that ship from Canada that also sometimes take a little bit of extra time. So, you know, if you are ordering something, I think all of the ones that ship from a foreign country on my website will tell you that this ships from another country so you can plan in terms of the timeline how long it'll take. Um, what else did I want to say? Um, oh, so some of the items have gendered descriptions. So the, the item, one of the items that we have that ships from Canada is this amazing packable jacket. So the whole jacket like stuffs down into one of the pockets so you can like carry it as a little tiny jacket. And on the front it has pronouns. And then on the back it'll have like a cute little quippy phrase. So the one that's on the way to me has they them on the front for my pronouns. And then on the back it says gender fucker. <sighs> Items like that are created as a men's item and a women's item. And I have bounced around in my brain how to describe those cuts, whether it's like a straight cut T versus like a curve cut T. And like, it just gets really confusing. So for right now, the descriptions for those items say like men's jacket, women's jacket. Um, I'm trying to get rid of the gendered language as much as possible. And like, if you have good ideas for language, please let me know. I'm going to try to do some more searching to come up with ideas. Um, but Regardless, you can put any item on any body. It's up to you. Uh, all of the items also on the website have measurements of the actual garment, so you can see what the sizes mean, because I know my pet peeve is having no freaking idea what size an extra large actually is. So they have the measurements of the completed garment on the website, so you can take measurements and see what's going to be a good fit for you, and make sure that it has enough positive ease or negative ease if you want it like real tight for Pride Month. Um, but overall, I'm like so happy. Like, look at this. Look at how cute this is, right? Nothing like a radical political statement that also looks cute as shit over your chest, right? I gotta love it. Um, I'm so, so excited, and I hope y'all love the merch that is available. You can find it all at drlizpowell.com slash shop. That's drlizpowell.com slash, slash shop. Uh, it's organized by the, like, phrase or saying on the item. So, like, there's a whole section for slut things. There's a whole section for solo polyam things. Um, so it's organized that way. You can also at the bottom, you'll see there's like, uh, like heat map terms. So like if you wanna see like all the T's that are available, you can just click on T's. Um, so there's a lot of different ways that you can kind of navigate through the shop and find the things that are the good fit for you. I love this tumbler, I'm so excited. Uh, I also ordered myself a water bottle that says Megasexual on it. Megasexual? 
Maybe it was a shiny beacon of slutty hope. Yeah, that's another one of the phrases, a shiny beacon of slutty hope. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff. I hope that you take a look, and if you can, you get some stuff, um, and let me know what you think if you do order it. I'm going to go ahead and sign off and just enjoy the rest of this day. I have more work I need to do, unfortunately. But um, I'm so happy that the merch is live. I'm so happy to share it with all of you. Please let me know any questions or comments that you have, and I will talk to you all again soon. Bye!